Hypnotic was a story with an interesting premise that suffers from a lack of runtime. What I mean by that is that this film felt about 20 to 30 minutes too short. It was only about an hour and 30 or 35 minutes. I was surprised when I checked the the runtime on this before I went into the theater that it was as short as it was. I was expecting that it would be your typical hour and 40 minute, 50 minute or two hour movie. And it wasn't. And there was a lot that was going on in here. So that's honestly, for me, the number one con of this film. There are other things that I thought were cons. Well, there was one thing that I thought was a con, but that was explained. I'll get to that in a second. Basically, the premise is, as you see in the trailer, this cop, his daughter has gone missing and he's haunted by that. And there's this strange baddie that's going around controlling people and creating illusions in their mind. And as the character, was it Alice Braga? Is that her name, Alice? And her, her she has an aunt who's also um, an actor. She explains this, the what hypnotics do and how things that you see can be illusions and stuff like that. So it's like, okay, that's kind of an interesting concept. This sounds a little bit like um, The Matrix or like um, Inception or whatever. And it kind of feels pretty typical and generic for a good portion of this movie. It wasn't until maybe the last fourth of the film or the last third, if I'm being generous, like maybe the last 20 to 25 minutes where it took this turn or this twist and things were revealed. It was like, oh, this is quite interesting. I like this. And then it gets to closer to the very end. It's like, oh, I really like this. I like what's going on with this story. And then I was thinking to myself, the problem is this needed to be longer. And the reason is because, unfortunately, due to the fact that it just, well, you know, I don't know that it can all come down to the runtime because there have been films that have been about this long and you still feel a connection to the characters, a proper connection to the characters. Like I'll give you an example, nobody. That's only about an hour and a half, but I felt connected with the characters in here, the husband, especially the wife. I just felt this, it, however they were written for the story, it worked. In this particular movie, I don't feel that emotional connection with him and with the characters surrounding him. It feels like people just kind of going through the motions. And I want to say that's probably largely because of the runtime, maybe not necessarily the acting because there's just so much going on. You have this conflicted cop guy, this strange stuff happening, and things are just so like frantic. There's just like, there's so much action and stuff going on and it doesn't feel like there's enough breathing room and they'll have some stuff happening, then a little bit of downtime where there's exposition going on. Basically you, the viewer, being told what's happen, what, what's happening through dialogue, getting all this backstory through dialogue. It just felt like it was just too much crammed into too little amount of time. And that for me was the biggest drawback to Hypnotic. I wrote down sloppily short. Should have been an extra 20 or 30 minutes. Couldn't get attached to the characters because it was so short. But interesting concept. And I didn't realize or I had forgotten until it started showing the credits at the end that this was a movie directed by Robert Rodriguez. It didn't really feel like a Robert Rodriguez movie, and I don't know if that really means anything. When I think of Robert Rodriguez, I think of things like Alita Battle Angel or From Dusk Till Dawn or uh, The Mariachi and the other the, the other ones with uh, Antonio Banderas in it. This didn't really feel like that. So I'm wondering if this was source material that wasn't his maybe or something. I, I should have looked it up before I started recording, but I'm curious to see if this was based on a book because I bet the book was pretty cool because honestly I really do like the premise of this. It's weird because like I said it wasn't until like the final part of the film that I really kind of mentally set up and took a lot more 
interest in what was happening because before that, like I said, it just felt kind of generic, just ho oh, hum. Okay, well, let's just see what's happening. And then this shift happens and I'm, I'm oh, okay, wow, this is this is cool. I like this. And it's it's a shame that it took that long to get me to that point. That's kind of frustrating. There was this one thing that I thought was a con and it ends up not really being a con because things are explained. And I'll give you an example. Well, I'll give you I'll let you know specifically what it is. I kept wondering, how does this bad guy always just magically know where they are? You know how in movies where someone's tracking people or chasing after them, and if something's done well, there's this span of time before they can find who they're looking for. But in really sloppy films, they're just like magically they're there. You're like, what is happening? Why is he able to find them so quickly? I was thinking at the time, doggone, this is too short. This is going too fast. They need some more space in between him looking for them and then finding him. Because like every time they turn around, he's there. Well, that was explained later on. Let's just say that much. And so that kind of erased that con, which really for me leaves the main downside to this film is lack of runtime. We need a little bit more breathing room for the characters to kind of settle into their life. And I'm not saying let things just drag on, but it just felt like there was just too much happening. And then when you get to the end and this twist that happens and the showdown and the climax, it's like, well, but I don't feel this attachment that I feel like I need to have with these characters in order to really be in love with this movie. And that was a shame. I can't really say that this is a complete waste of time. I don't regret watching it. I actually wanted to spend more time with the characters because I just wanted that underpinning of just emotional foundation a little bit more, you know, like just th that you feel this connection with these people. And it just, it felt like it was something that kind of hit the ground running. You're thrust into this story. They're running. She's explaining things to him. Stuff's happening. The guy shows up. They run some more. He shows up again. She's explaining more stuff. Oh, then there's this. And then, the, and it's just, slow down. I need some time, y'all. That sort of thing. So, I hate that about this because it really was a pretty interesting idea. And if this was based on a book and if the book is looks like it has pretty solid reviews, I'm definitely going to see if I can track it down and listen to it if it's an audio. So, yeah, I don't know. Just, you know, kind of mixed, mixed feelings about it. But I really don't have much else to say other than those thoughts that were churning through my head. I didn't take any notes when I watched it. As soon as the movie was done, then I started writing notes down. And also, if you do happen to watch this, after the credits play, there's another scene that happens. I wouldn't say it's really mid-credits. It's the credits start to play, and then they kind of pick up with, with stuff to show you more after the end. So if you go to watch this, or if you do happen to play this at home stream on streaming or whatever, make sure that you don't cut it off as soon as the credits start so you can see this other little thing that happened. Other than that, I don't have a ton of stuff to talk about uh, regarding hypnotic. Something that I found out when I went to the theater today was that there's this movie that's coming out that I'm actually going to go see tomorrow. If I'd had the energy, I might would have tried for a double feature to go see this other movie called Knights of the Old Republic. It's been on my Cinemark app for a couple few weeks, but yet n tickets were never going on sale. And then when I get to the theater, all of a sudden there's the poster and boom, now the tickets are on sale. So I'm going to go see it tomorrow and we'll be doing a review for that. Um, maybe we'll go up sometime the weekend. So, you know, the double features. Yeah, it's called Knights. Oh, I'm sorry. I see Knights of the Old Republic. It's Knights of the Zodiac. And I don't know anything about the premise. I didn't read anything about that. I'm just going to go into this completely blind other than what I saw of the poster. Fingers crossed that it will be a pleasant surprise. We shall see. I will let you know. But anyway, that's all I have to say about Hypnotic. Um, not a complete waste of time, but unfortunately just not, it, just, it does not live up to the potential that I think it could have. And I'm curious to know if there was just a lot of stuff that was cut or if this was really it. This was all he filmed. Anyway, yeah, that's it. I don't have anything else, so... This was a really quick review. Just like the movie. It's really quick.
Okay, you guys. Adios.